Welcome back. This is Wednesday, May 13th. This is episode 141 of New Tube, a weekly independent podcast where we are playing Plants vs. Zombies on the PC. And let me tell you, there are some crazy-ass enemies. Dude, shut up. Pay attention. All right, All right. We, got, we, got, we got some uh, fucking fat girl zombies coming down yeah. here. You need to play, plant some cake plants. All right. Mm, that's not working, dude. Uh-huh. Uh, maybe if I try Jonas Brothers Sunflower. She's kind of teenager, so I'll play yeah. her. Oh my god, she ate the Jonas Brothers. All right, okay, we only have okay. one weapon left, right. so you need to put in the webcam plants. Okay. Okay, all right, this seems to be working. Okay. okay, now she's making some YouTube video about how she hates her boyfriend and her parents. Okay, what? Oh god. Dude, dude oh, she, oh she's, god, no. she's taking her top off, man. She is a fucking zombie cam whore. All right, shut it off. That's it. I am Yuzo Watanabe. <laughs> and I'm Dobin Gozire. And our, this week we're talking about <laughs> uh, Plants vs. Zombies. We got Pikmin, Ninja Blade, uh, Donkey Kong Jungle Beat, and Load Runner. Load Runner, yes. And uh, our new releases include Killing Floor, Pirates vs. Ninja Dodgeball, uh, Desktop Tower Defense, and... Say and it, you <laughs> pussy. Fuck. Shin Megami Tensai, colon, Devil Summoner 2, Colon, Raidu Guza Nohu versus King Abadadadon. That is fucking ridiculous. That's so dumb. And oh, wait, no, it's a limited edition and it's packaged with another game. Shin Megami Tensai 3 colon, Nocturne Maniacs with an X Chronicle Edition. Fuck you, Atlas. Fuck you and your evil, shriveled little pooper. But let's get to a game with a little bit of a, uh, a shorter name. Let's Short go name. to uh, Plants vs. Zombies. PVZ. PVZ. I am down with that. PVZ. So it's a new game by PopCap. Yes. You know how much I love PopCap. I feel like I owe you an apology. You b- you damn straight owe me like an apology. I feel like I owe you an apology. When, when I told you, right, I'm like, hey, dude, there's a new game called Plants vs. Zombies. And like, yeah. dude, uh, it's by the same guys did Peggle. Right. It's awesome. It's PopCap. It's great. It's right. desktop tower defense. But not See, really. that was the problem. You said that. You're like, it's desktop tower I defense. I said it really fast, though. You did. I, and but I, I caught it. Oh, I couldn't sneak that past me. So I was like, all right, that sounds fucking awful, and I'm sure you're going to have a good time. Mm-hmm. And I'm doing like, here's the, here's the demo, here's right. the link, check yeah. it out. So I did, so I checked yeah. it out. So, so you, you said that you were like, you're like, oh, I grabbed it real quick last mm-hmm. night, four hours later, I know, I, I had bed. no idea, yeah. I played like three or four levels, and I said, fuck this, I'm buying the game. So what's it like? So it is a, it's not really a desktop tower defense. I it is, it, but it's, the, okay. <laughs> kind of. The, the difference, I guess the difference is that I've never played an active desktop power defense. Mm, like, gotcha, gotcha. Tower defense. Like usually, they'll they'll have you put down some things. and They're like, okay, run, mm-hmm. and it'll be like, no control and you, right? and you just kind of watch and see if your guys were able to stop the hordes. Mm-hmm. But this is active. It's like super active. Remember, I was telling you like Pixel Junk Monsters how I liked the fact that desktop tower defense because you all they did was add this one element where you would go and oh. walk in front of the tower. Oh, oh, ding, ding, ding. It's been a while. zombies. So what they do? Um, so the, all they did was um, it's that when you put down your tower, like yeah. when the guys would come, you could walk in front of it and then make them build faster. Oh, so there's like this time. It's a little bit of it. It's a little bit, and that's all it needed. Yeah. But this one goes crazy. It goes ape shit. Ridiculous. And, and, and the weird thing is, is if you if you would kind of describe it, it would be one of those things where if I'd heard about it, I'm like, ah, it sounds like an RTS tower defense. Like, I, that's, it's that's what it is. It, it is what it is. <laughs> but it's so good. Like, I know. I'm kind of tired of RTSs. I haven't really enjoyed them very much lately. I don't like tower defense. But there's this whole. Just the, 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 the art is so cute. Yep. The play the play design, the play the the gameplay is just so finely tuned. I know, and, and that's the thing that I would love about the pop cap is they take this this grand element or something yeah. like that and then just tweak the shit of it. They'll like work so on it for perfect. months until it's perfect. And then like first, like, okay, you have five different worlds. The first world is like pretty normal. You're planting uh, what is it, sunflowers to get sun, you know, yeah. doing all these shooters and all that. But the next na- next Well so what happens when you plant sunflowers? Oh, when you plant flowers you get more sun. Right. And then what do you do with sun? You do sun. You basically you can get sun coming floating down the string, so yeah. you can click on it to get it. You can get sunflowers, and then you use that to buy more plants, right? Which is perfect. That's the genius part. It of is this. totally genius. Because oh. the the thing is, the zombies can come in and fuck up your plants. Yeah. But you're getting more sun. You're mm-hmm. planting more plants. You're you're kind of watching their strategy, and they're like, yes. all right, here's some you know football player zombie. I got to plant something in front of him that makes him go crazy and attack his own dudes. Yes. Or you know like whatever. Or like so, take something to take his helmet, like a magnet plant to take away his helmet, so he's easier to kill. Oh, it's genius. And then, that's the thing is just like first they'll give you all these tools to make it better right make mm-hmm. it easier there's like okay you get these tall like first you get these pole vaulter zombies yeah. whatever they, and then they can jump over shit and you're like yeah. you put down your walnut which stops them they can't get over it you can get a tall nut yeah <laughs> <Right>? <laughs> <laughs> but dude i don't know if you got this far but at, at a certain point you put the the tall nut and yeah it blocks the the pole vaulting zombies but there's ladder zombies and they can climb and the they tall put a, nut. not only that they put a ladder down walk over your tall nut and then the zombies behind it can go over 
that is so genius. I know. So you have to actually get rid of your walnut. Oh, and, and then there's like one. a swimming pool, and there'll be like yes. fucking dolphin zombies. Like, and there's special uh, water plants. Yeah. And then there's night levels with uh, with with mushrooms. They right. can only use. It's just like there. How many? There's probably about maybe. A, 90 different types of plants you can... Something like that. I'm not, I'm so not sure how many you get. 10 times like 6. Plus. Yeah, and then at, yeah. At each level starts and they say, okay, so this level starting, here is the types of zombies you'll be fighting. There's yes. like, oh, here's a football guy, here's a guy with a snorkel, here's a guy with a fucking zamboni. <laughs> a zamboni <laughs> with a zomboni driving it. Yeah, and you know when they, if that zamboni gets a little too far, you get the zombie bobsled team. <laughs> it's, it's so hilarious that you'll fucking kill the zomboni and then those four dudes on a bobsled will come out then you get the Michael Jackson zombie yes, he'll come out and he starts dancing and he invents four dancer zombies yeah. around him that you have to kill too it's just like there's bungee zombies right. or there's like actually like maybe probably like 50 or 60 zombie types too yeah. that you have to deal with so, so what I was saying is so you start the level you see the guys you're going to have to fight okay and they go okay uh, so now you get to pick your six or seven mm-hmm. plants that you're going to use against them. You can get more plant slots. Yep. You can kind of do all these well, other with money, things. And that's the other cool thing, right? That, yeah. Like we didn't even talk about that. It's like when you kill zombies, sometimes they'll drop a little bit of uh, money and sometimes yeah. they'll drop a gem. Yeah. It's like a thousand bucks. But, and then you go to the shop and you can buy slots like you were saying, but you can buy upgrades to your things. Yeah. Right. So like when, did you get the Gatling? No. So, so you, you know, cause you can get the single shot pea shooter, the double repeater. Yeah. And if you, you buy the, the Gatling, thing. you can adapt. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. The fire thing, right? Yeah. But you can um, get this Gatling, which doubles the repeater. What? So, so you're just like, like, yeah. yeah. So these guys are firing peas at the zombies as they're coming up. Yeah. Cause that's the thing is you kind of put down all these defenses, like guys that shoot peas, mm-hmm. you can put down uh, all sorts of other stuff that can kind of defend against people. And then later on when you're on the roof, there's uh, there's catapults because it's sloped. So the thing just hits the thing, right? So you yeah. have to get something that shoots up, it shoots over them, but there's a, uh, there's a corn on the cob, so it shoots pellets of, of or sorry, corn kernels yeah. and butter. <laughs> it's, when the, it's hilarious when the butter hits the zombie's face. They're like, oh, and they just stop. For a few <laughs> so it, it, the, the the comedy, but I want to talk about the um the what is it the, the money aspect when yeah, you yeah. buy and all that, right? But the thing is, you can't buy everything. Sometimes they'll make the new slots like five thousand, and yeah. the eight, nine slots is twenty thousand. Yeah, but they have mini games. Yeah. Right, and so you can instead of them. playing the main quest line, yes. you can go into these mini games, and some of them are really fun. Mm-hmm. So it's like they didn't just develop this great game; they developed mm-hmm. all these these modifications where instead of uh, uh, buying stuff with sun, yeah. you've got a conveyor belt on the top. Yes, yes, yes. And yes. then all you can use is what's coming along the conveyor belt, and you have to use it in a good way. You can either use it to go bowling and kill yep. zombies. You can either use it to plant the field and kill mm-hmm. zombies. Like there's so there's much. a whack a zombie, I believe. There's a yeah. whack a zombie mode. There's uh, it's ridiculous. Like, they, they took this simple little theme. They're like, we're going to do tower defense, mm-hmm. uh, but then we're going to kind of do it with plants and zombies. And they're like, all right, now that we've got this, we can find 50 different fun mutations. Like, it wasn't yes. just enough to do one game, yeah. which I just impressed the shit out of me. And it, it makes me think. It's just like, how does PopCap work? I bet you they, like, whenever t- they take a game, they're like, okay, take, here's this concept, go crazy with yep. it. And then they have all these prototypes of all these different gameplay mechanisms that probably just went to a bag for the other games. Like with Peggle, they probably had, you know, like oh, yeah. 50,000 different powers you can get they're like okay we'll put them there but and they we'll actually, ditch some we'll do whatever yeah. like. and we'll, we'll pick the most fun yeah but then I, th- I think what they did end up doing with this is taking all the little prototypes let's just make a mini game out of it let's make a mini game out of it that's true huh and it really adds to the well, people probably just got so attached to them like this is how the game should be they're like alright yeah. we'll put that in a mini game yeah. like people seem to like it Why it's not? not our main game and you can get money out of it you can go and buy yeah. you know extra slots so you can actually and then the, uh, you, like I only unlocked maybe two or three different mini games mm. and there's a ton yeah I, I think I've unlocked yeah maybe three or four and it's just it's the same thing where it's just I'm looking looking at the screen of 25 mini games that I haven't unlocked yet. So yeah. Oh, for this it. game is awesome. And so here's the other thing. It's 20 bucks. If you buy it from their website, if you go on steam, do yeah, $10, $10, $10. So it is, it is, this is cheaper than a lot of these games that are coming out for like 1200 fucking points yep. on Xbox live or PSN, let alone $60 box games, which I've, I mean, I'm telling you like last night I was like two 30 AM. I'd done a bunch of work. Yeah. And I'm like, fuck, okay, I'm going to play some plants of zombies and relax. Yeah. 4 a.m. comes around, and I'm like, fuck. <laughs> Serious. <laughs> because you can't stop. Because it's just no. like, for one thing, you can't ever stop till you beat a level. That's just infuriating. Oh, yeah. And then the Hell other no. thing is just like, one level stops, and you're just like... Well, so, well, the thing is, like, each level, you get a new plant. Yeah. And I'm like... What's next? I want to use that plant. What's coming next? <laughs> and the, their creativity uh, in the plants is like, I love that at fantastic. night, you get less sunlight, but then they also give you plants that, that are free. So you don't have to buy them. You can yes. just drop as many spores as you can. I mean, like, and, yeah, and they also give you the, 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 sun, uh, what is it, the sun mushrooms, which yeah. will also grow and they give you more sun later. So they have yeah. this other time component. So it's this weird. I like, I like 
the thing is, like, you kind of analyze the gameplay of this. They actually have so many permutations of these very simple concepts, these very rock, paper, scissors concepts. Yeah. But they just have, like, like 20,000 different variations on it, which are all addictive and all yes. interesting. Yeah, exactly. So it's genius. Seriously. I... Oh, so I mean, oh. I, this, this is the you thing. Is like, desktop I, I don't like desktop tower defense. I'm not a huge fan of RTSs these days. I mean, this game is perfect. It's like yeah. for what it is, it is it is unstoppably good. I and cannot for recommend $10, it enough. Ten dollars for ten dollars, nothing ridiculous. you can get better. No. This year, probably no. for that sort of value. At this if point. you don't have enough money, sell another game that you own. <laughs> sell, sell War of the Monsters or Haven or Haven, motherfucking Haven. Or, uh, one of these games that we're going to be giving away. <laughs> Yeah, steal okay. your brother's lunch money. That's right, or beat up some kid for the lunch money. Beat up money. some kid, beat Hang up the, the, the jocks at your school. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, big, big, big thumbs up. So awesome next game. up uh, is Pikmin. Yeah, Pikmin. So this is a new pl- new play, control. What? The next million points ever, everything. So. What? what? Pikmin. Uh, so this is uh, the basic GameCube game that they did uh, a while back, and this is the game that I love. This is mm. one of my favorite games on, on the GameCube. Yeah. Did you play it or not? Yes. Okay. I did. So it's like, the it's it's kind of... I wouldn't say lemmings. It's um, it's hard to say what this is like. So, I mean, it's like you're trying to get your dudes to the yeah. end point. Mm, not really. Okay. Okay. So maybe you remember it. I remember it as well as. <laughs> so so you so you are uh, God, what's his name? Starts with an O. But so you're some guy, and you basically have a messed up a spaceship. Yeah. Right. And then all your parts scatter everywhere around the world. Right. And then you land, and you find these little guys called Pikmin, yeah. which are these 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 basic little little helper guys, and they come in different colors, and they each have different values, and all that. But you use them to go and collect parts. Right. From your spaceship. But the, the awesome thing is, like, there's uh, is it three different types? I think. So there's blue for yep. water, which can go in water. Uh, red for or, um, God, I wish I could remember. I think red is, I think red is just your standard battle one. Yeah. And then uh, yellow is... Uh, wow, I'm going to be really embarrassed. <laughs> so, uh, no, yellow can pick up the bombs. That's the other thing. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, um, anyhow, so there's all these different components, and it's the sort of thing where, like, like I think you'd really like... You really well, I played it back, uh, back on GameCube. I mean, like, when I was thinking about the X's, I remember, like, there would be basically be a starting point, and then the, the part you needed to pick up. And exactly, I remember, and you like, have to get them to kick Yeah, you try back. and get them to get there and get back. And then uh, the thing is, like, as you travel on the different levels, you can, like, you know, you pick, you fight monsters, and you pick them up and then take them back to your thing to make more pick. Yes. So at some point you get like hundreds, no, no, like a hundred of each Pikmin, and you can then like start getting like a certain sortie, right? You can say like, okay, I need about ten blue guys, I need mm-hmm. about these yellow guys, these red guys, and then you go because like certain ones, there's gates, yeah. there's gates underwater, there's various things that you have right. to do. So it's very puzzly, and it's yeah. just like it, it's one of the the most well designed levels that I've seen. So is this is this a uh, this is basically kind of a port with the Wii controls, right? Yes. So and, what they change? Like what's um, different? Not much. <laughs> so it was, before it was, it was uh, again, it's been like 10 years, like a yeah. long time since I played it, but uh, before I think the GameCube had a kind of a little reticle that you just went around with the um, okay. thing. So now you point. But there, okay. there, there are very little motion, I don't think there's any motion controls that I remember. For the most part, it's just you like... You point to select the you guys. You point to, to select where you throw the guys. Uh, so a lot of times there'll be like a, you know, a, a flower you need to get, so you just point at it, you go click, and you go... Wah, wah, and you go, <laughs> and then fly over. Yeah. So, um, so it's that kind of thing. It's just like, you know, it, it just works. Yeah. It's just like, you know, it's like this is kind of almost... I would almost go as far as to say that this is one of the few games that really, really benefits from the, the ability of the, of the, the Wii, right? Oh, okay, yeah. Because some of them, they just kind of port it, and then they tack on some random shit, and it just doesn't work. It's true. I mean, th- um, there's there's a couple of games that you play. Occasionally, you'll play games where you suddenly realize that pointing is perfect. Yes. Like, you know, instead of having to move around, because there's a lot of times you'll be playing your Xbox, your 360, oh, sorry, your, your PS3, <laughs> and then there'll be things where you basically have to use your thumbs to either, you know, be moving things around or to, to, to target stuff, yeah. and it's just like, I just wish I could point, like yeah. my fucking mouse. Yeah. And just do that. And so. like, I think that's why uh, games like RTSs haven't really shown up on consoles for right. the most part. But if you start seeing it, I think the Wii is probably going to where you see a lot more successes, right? Yeah. And for I think that when you start seeing the Wii 2, whatever mm. that ends up being, I think you're yeah. going to start to see a lot more victories in terms of FPS too because right now it's a little it's a little it's just it's the graphically underpowered but if you had nice graphics and pointing I think I'd love to play some FPS's on that like Red Steel and stuff uh, yeah, actually, like you're in right. That, in that fashion. Well, Con- Conduit also will, uh, I think, will be yeah. pretty surprising, right? I mean, mm-hmm. we've been seeing some of the graphics and all that. I, I saw it at uh, the last thing that we went to. Yeah, yeah. All right, and it was like, it was okay. GDC? At GDC, yeah. yeah. Um, it was just like, yeah, it was okay. But I think um, with FPSs and RTSs, you're going to be seeing a lot of cool stuff. Yeah. Uh, and if anything, Pikmin is really a console-style RTS. Yeah. 
I mean, this is this is the closest you're going to get to it, unless you're talking about like Plants for Zombies, which you can't even really do. Yeah. Right now. Right? Yeah, that wouldn't. So, so did you have any complaints about it? I mean, is there anything you don't like? <laughs> it about was the game? such a good game originally. They yeah. didn't mess it up. Yeah. And it looks a little nicer, and it's cheap. So. So, I mean, is it one of those things that you're going to stick with? Like, is it? I want to. Yeah. Yeah. Well, because the thing is, I never actually finished Pikmin. T- I never played Pikmin Two. Oh. So I want to. So you feel finish. like you have to earn it. I have to earn it. So you I have to, have to finish it. this one because yeah. it's it's already out in the UK. So all UK listeners, Pikmin you can get is. both one and two. It's already oh. on Japan too, but it's not out here. Of course it is. Fucking Final so, Fantasy VII is on the PSN in Japan. <laughs> is this, are, do we confirm that? Yeah, I, I checked online. It's definitely really? it's definitely available in Japan right now for download. Wow. Uh, I mean, it's just the, you know it's a straight port. There's no. Well, new you know, shit. I had it on the uh, I had it on the disc. You could have plabbered and played it. Yeah. <laughs> so anyhow, um, it's, a, it's a great game. Pikmin is is a fan. If you missed it on the GameCube, play it on the Wii because everybody's yeah. got a Wii. And is this play. is this on uh, WiiWare? Is this like downloadable? So, no, it's a game full full disc. Oh, it's a full. Is it sixty bucks? No, it's cheaper. I don't. Okay. I rented it. I don't know, but yeah. it's, it's going to be probably twenty or thirty. They'll okay. confirm me. You know, just look online. Good, good, good. Okay. Uh, so Ooh, this would be up. interesting. Ninja Blade. Ninja Blade. So Ninja Blade. Uh, it's a PS3 and 360 game, I believe. Yes. Um, <laughs> so you played the demo. I, I played the demo, and you didn't like it. This demo was not a good demo. Yeah. Uh, I did not. How, so anyone, here's the funny thing is I didn't even play the demo. I really? Went, uh, so I heard that Ninja Blade came out while we were gone mm-hmm. and I remember hearing that, that it looked good. Um, like it does while we were look in pretty Japan. good, yeah. So I basically watched a couple gameplay videos and I was like, ah, oh, this intrigues me. I will, I will go rent this game. It so, looks like a Ninja Gaiden clone. It does. It totally looks like... I mean, here's the thing. Is, is this game... There's nothing original about this game. Like, this game is... <laughs> you basically take Ninja Gaiden and you add uh, uh, God of War... Basically, the God of War attack scheme, the God of War weapon upgrades, the God, God of War, War quick time events, quick quick time events, lots and lots of quick time events. Yes, <laughs> and then you also add in uh, Shadow of the Colossus. Okay, I didn't see that, but well, I mean, it's just like these. So, <laughs> so <laughs> I thought this game was a good rental. Like, I actually really, really enjoyed myself with this game because so it's just like it's it? a popcorn game. It's just one of these things where the game looks okay. I'll give you that phenomenal. It yes. really, really looks good, and you get to these things where. You know, you're running around fighting enemies, and the enemies are just kind of boring. Like, yeah. the, the enemies will be like a dude with a shield, a dude that fires whatever. It gets but old really fast. It gets old pretty fast, yeah. honestly. It's just like you run around, but it doesn't take very long because this game is all about the boss battles. Okay, really? Cause I, there's huge. Only, I think there's only one boss battle in the, the demo, and yeah. there's a there's kind of a fair number of guys yeah. to get up to the boss. Okay. Once you get to the boss, it's just like I was so annoyed. So here's, here's my experience of the demo, right? Number one, you start out, you're flying down the thing, yeah. quick time event, quick time event, yeah. quick time I'm seriously like, there's 20 quick time events in a row, and I'm like, like while you're flying through the sky, yeah, by the sky, right? There's okay. a huge number of them, right? And yeah. I'm like, all right, okay, it's that kind of game. Mm. And then you land, and then you start fighting guys. I'm like, okay, and then the combat just isn't very, there isn't that much finesse. Mm. It's a very basic combat system. It's not anywhere close to Ninja Gaiden or anything like that. It, to me, right? Yeah. It's just like bam, it's a button masher. Rah, 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 go crazy. Yeah. You go through a bunch, a bunch of guys do that, and then you get to the end boss. The end boss was interesting. Mm-hmm. There was like. Eight different stages. Yes, in that boss. yes, yeah, I like that. But four stages in, I'm like, the, the the sourness of the first experience is just like, you know, I'm I'm kind of done. Mm. So, so let me tell you the, so the, some so, of your so, experience. So, so that. my experience is that uh, so there's actually a lot of complexity to the combat. So um, if you go and if you go and you look, so <laughs> when you start upgrading your weapons, you start every time you upgrade your weapons, you unlock about four or five new moves. And the moves are actually okay. rather complex. They'll be like, jump in the air, pull the right trigger, use the Y button, and it'll go into like a whirlwind mode. There's three different weapon types. So there's actually a heavy sword, a medium sword, and a light sword. Each one of them has different attacks. I think there might only have been one weapon. Yeah, see, see this is what I'm saying. Like, All right, this Because you were telling me, you're like, I hated the demo. I'm like... I'm feeling like the demo wasn't an accurate representation of this game been. because huh. you start to get this you start to get this shield that you can throw and the shield either has fire attacks or wind attacks you can do like uh, huh. your your strong sword can break people's shields but then your medium sword can, can do other can stuff you swap your, them right away Oh or? yeah very fast like you use the little the little uh, the nubby oh, on the left so you're like okay. in the middle of a battle I'll be like heavy attack break the guy's shield light attack do this And you actually use all the different combos all of them, and all cuz I mean anytime hmm. there's like air enemies you can do these things where with the light sword you can jump up in the air and do like a hell Helicopter shit, yeah, where it like yeah. knocks all the dudes out of the air. So the, huh. the combat actually ended up being pretty well. It fleshed sounds out. to me like the combat really is about the choice of weapons you use, yeah, as opposed absolutely. to like what you do with them necessarily, right? Yeah. It's just like, but I mean, even still, like uh, you've got this kind of mana bar, mm-hmm. so 
you can do special mana using attacks with the weapons. You mm. can, you know, kind of do like the, the if you hold the trigger and it does special big attacks. Otherwise, you can do like medium and strong attacks. It, it like, sounds to me like the demo was not a yeah. I'm I mean, thinking I think you're right. because um, I was. Maybe I, just, I should try it now. Huh. I just really had a good time. Like it was just one of these things where it was just very straightforward. Like it was absurd. The the, the battles yeah. are so fucking epic. Like there's this one thing where you start fighting. This octopus zombie thing takes over a helicopter, and you're fighting it through the city. So you're like, you know, attacking you're on the, the helicopter. You're on the helicopter. You're on other helicopters. You're running through buildings. It's crashing. You're jumping <laughs> on top of it. It fires a missile. You're surfing on the missile, doing quick time events where you bring it back in and then drive the missile back into the helicopter. I mean, like it's just one of these things where I'm playing through. I'm like, haha. So it's kind of like a Jerry Bruckheimer video game. That's exactly basically. right. Okay. It is a Jerry huh. Bruckheimer. Huh kind of, you know, God of War clone, yeah. Armageddon, whatever. It's just huh. one of those things where, you know, you rent it for, for a week. Will you finish it? I'll, I'll definitely finish it. It's really? probably, yeah, I mean, like, it's, I'm having a really good time. Like, wow. I, I may report back next week that I got to some boss that was, like, 87 stages. Because, I mean, seriously, <laughs> these bosses, you'll, like, knock off the spider's armor, yep. and then its legs come out. And, and you got to kill each of level. the different legs. And then, like, yeah, after that point, I was just like, I'm done with this but game. I, I really huh. was kind of approaching it the way I approached, like, Shadow of the Colossus. Like, the mm. reason I played the game was for the boss battles. Because the boss battles mm. were so epic and so cinematic and so well done. Hmm, like, I, I actually really had a good time at it. Well, so, so my experience with the demo, um, yeah. but the way you're talking about it, I might, I might give it a try. It's honestly really fun. So I, I would say just rent it, you know, give it a shot, see if you like it. There's no reason to own this game. Okay. You're going to beat this game <laughs> once, and you're never going to play it again because it's just it's popcorn, it's Jerry Bruckheimer, whatever. Yeah. But Who watches, like, Pearl Harbor twice? Ex- really, you'll right? never watch never. I, sh- I wish I hadn't watched it <laughs> yeah. once. I watched Armageddon a bunch of times, but, you know, not fucking Pearl. <laughs> fuck that. Movie. So... Uh, but yeah, so I, I think for, for Rent, I think it's phenomenal. Okay. Um, um, oh, another new Play Control. Yes. Mm. So Donkey Kong Jungle Beat. Okay, so, so I'm a little confused on the, the Donkey Kong games that use the drums. So my understanding mm. is that there were Donkey Konga, yeah. Donkey Konga 2, and then this one. Okay. Are they, do you know anything about those other two games? Because my understanding was like, you played them all with just the... Uh, which one yeah, called? so Donkey Konga I have played, and okay. that, that is a rhythm game. So it's Which, not an adventure. Last no. week, you and I said that this was a rhythm game. <laughs> we thought we, we thought, thought this game be. was conga. We got very confused. Yeah. So, so Donkey Conga Sorry. is actually basically Guitar Hero with a conga. And it was pretty good, right? It, what I hear. it was okay. You know, okay. it's like you do clapping. You do like it actually has a microphone on it. Oh, so you clap, really? Okay. Bong, bong, do whatever. So, but this one is my understanding. Like this whole game, like they didn't do that much to it. They added How different controls. How the fuck did you play that game? Because like, apparently you hit it and you move him right. You hit it, move him left. And then basically, it's almost like about combos. Okay. Because like, that's what that whole combo system, which yeah. I didn't quite get when I was playing it, right? Yeah. It's like you do it, and then you hit it, and it's all timing-based okay, and all yeah, that. And, I can um, see that. It sounds like I would have liked this game a little... I, mean, I like the game, but I would have liked it a lot more with the other weird control scheme. But you I can can't, see that. But you can't use it. Yeah, I mean, I, I, I can see that, though, because... As much as I like this game, mm-hmm. I'm not sure I'm going to beat it because I think that I kind of get it. Yeah, I, I've been about three levels in. I might play a few more levels, yeah. but I, I will not go all the way. And this one, like, how do you explain it's it? Good, it's though. like I mean, it's Donkey it's, Kong Country-ish, right? Yeah. So, but each level is a little bit different. I mean, the, the the major mechanic that you're talking about going through here is you're picking up bananas and you've yep. got a kind of a sonic attack. Yeah, and sonic like directional the, attack. Yeah, directional because whatever way you're holding the button on the uh, nunchuck, mm-hmm. you swing the remote and it goes wha wha wha. Yes. You know, like unless you're on a special special thing that then it's just a radius uh, yeah. attack, right? Yeah, if you're riding that um, weird fucking uh, rhinoceros, rhinoceros, <laughs> rhinoceros <laughs> buffalo. <laughs> Um, but yeah, so it's, it's kind of your standard platform. It reminds me a lot of Donkey Kong Country because there's a lot of different styles of levels. Yeah, sometimes yeah. there's levels where you're writing shit. Sometimes there's a level where you're just doing your standard platforming. And then there's a lot of boss battles. Yeah. And um, it's good. I thought the boss battles were fun. Really? Like, I actually yeah. actually really kind of got into that. Like, the first boss battle that, that's kind of like Mike Tyson's Punch-Out, I yeah. thought that was cool. Where it's just it, kind it of like you good. do the dodge, <laughs> and then you do, like, the uppercut. Like, it seriously is Mike Tyson's Punch-Out. Uh, some of the other ones weren't as fun. Like, did you get to the one where you're actually um, uh, throwing pineapples back at the bosses and stuff? There's uh, a couple... Yeah, so there's one with watermelon, where you're throwing a big water. Well, they have a big green watermelon, they throw it at you. There's the rock with yeah. the egg, then there's the gorilla with that throws the water. The, 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 yeah, the, the, there, there, was, there was one later where the guy was, like, shooting shit out of his nose at you. Oh, um, no, I didn't see but that, yeah. the point is, is like I actually really like the mechanics of the boss battles. They're all a little too easy. 
they that's were. The problem. But they're, I think they get but like traditionally with a lot of those Nintendo style games, they are pretty easy, and then they get fucking hard. It's so true. Every Nintendo game, hard, yeah, right? you're just like you're like, ah, oh, this is kind of boring. This guy, ah, I can't what? beat this part. Why? What happened? <laughs> like, I can't get past this little part. Well, it's funny too. It's just like you know, you're playing. You're like, wow, I'm getting all these extra one ups, man. It's just like, wow, I got 99 one ups. I'll never possibly. Oh shit. Yeah. Right. And then you just die. <laughs> you, die you die. Yeah. You die constantly. Which um, I started noticing around the, the, the beginning of the fourth level. I was like dying. I died. Like, yeah, I, I, like, like for the first time. It's like, holy ever. shit! Yeah. And like, and then it was just like, oh, this might be a little harder than I thought. The, the, some um, of those levels where I was riding the the rhinocephalo, yes. um, I died Stuff a couple. Up, I, I, guess, I died a good bit. Like, mm-hmm. I would actually kind of be falling down the pits, and I actually those were pretty fun. Like, I thought that mm-hmm. was kind of fun, like figuring out the the level and how to jump through it and get this stuff. Like, when you were actually as Donkey Kong. I started feeling a little bit later, like it was a little mm. bit more spazzy than enjoyable for me. It like, was not it was as kind precise, of Sonic-y. right? Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> it was kind of Sonicy in the way that I didn't like Sonic back in yeah. the day, where it's just you're running through this level and there's like monkeys in the air, and when you swing it, you grab them and you shoot up over here, and like while you're in the air, you're trying to grab bananas and you're bouncing off this and you shoot this thing and it becomes a big pillow. Yep. You jump off the pillow and, and then you the go thing. to a barrel, which shoots you another like five billion barrels yeah. as you go. It's, it, well, it's, it's very Sonicy, and I think I think Donkey Kong Country especially like had that sort of Sonic element to. They were like, holy shit, man, Genesis is doing really well. Yeah. Let's tell Rareware, I guess it was at the time, probably. And then it's like, hey, let's make something sonic but use Donkey Kong instead. Uh, so it, it does have, have it in its lineage, yeah. but um, you're right. I don't, I, that's the reason probably why I probably won't finish it. It doesn't have the preciseness of platforming that you know we mm. typically like, yeah. right? But I mean, the, um, the, the, the kind of... But you like the speedy sonicness of I Sonic. I do, <laughs> I do. But this, this, it's like it's the platforming part, which is like, oh, you know, it's like floaty because you you grab the little cat that inflates. I think yeah, it's a cat, right? You're like and then you're like, down. I don't have as much control. It doesn't have that 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 exactness that a Mario game has, right? For example. And for me, it's actually too much towards the Sonicy stuff. That it's funny these flavors of, of yeah, <laughs> yeah. There's different flavors of platforming where it's just like I huh. actually enjoyed the bosses more than the levels because mm-hmm. I liked figuring out the patterns of the bosses mm-hmm. but then the bosses were too easy yeah. and then the levels were just a little bit too spazzy but I mean but you like the writing levels which were not Sonic-y yes. they were a little Sonic-y but they were right? more they were more platforming yeah more platforming yeah, yeah so I, I thought it was a good it's game it's okay it's, it's, it's an okay game it's, yeah. it just doesn't Catch us. No, it's, I'd say it's, a, it's a definitely a very good rental. It's a thumbs yeah. up rental. Um, but yeah, I would say that if you had the same amount of, they're both the same price, right? Pikmin and Donkey Kong. So get Pikmin first. Yeah, it sounds like Pikmin's more of a. It's, it's lasting. Yeah. To me, so this one, um, this one, you know, I, I can definitely feel that I'm kind of getting done with it. Like I might do one or two more levels to see what the yeah. bosses are like. Yeah. But I'm probably much more likely to play more Ninja Blade. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> this is a good three day weekend game. I don't know yeah. if you guys have one coming up or anything, but a lot of kids are going to have summer vacation. Summer Memorial break, Day so. is this week, this month. Oh, well, there you go. Yeah. So. Memorial Day game. There you go. Or Ninja Blade. Ninja Blade. <laughs> Uh, last game last is... Last one up is Load Runner. Load Runner. So this is a game that has a lot of history. Yeah. Huge amount of history. They, I think they've made a Load Runner game almost every year since it came out. No shit. Yeah. And like, you know, so the, some of the later ones, there's a little cash in E. Yeah. You know, cash in E. Yes. Um, <laughs> but when the first game came out, I was playing it on the Apple II. It was like one of the first computer mm. games I saw. Yeah. And I was mesmerized. I'm serious. It was a green, you know, a green monochrome screen. Yeah. You're a little stick figure. You have other stick figures chasing you, and they pick up these little balls, which were gold. Okay. But they're just little balls <laughs> of, <right>? green. <laughs> of green, <laughs> green gold, right? They pick them up and then all of a sudden, you know, then you kill them and you pick up the gold and that's, yeah. that's it. And then you just pick up all the gold. You go to the exit. Very simple concept. Yeah. Super simple. And then they've been making these games for years since then. See, I guess I was too busy playing like fucking Oregon Trail. <laughs> <laughs> I never, I seriously, I never, stand, I never right? played I mean, uh, Load Runner until really? until this game came out. Well, so the, the, the cool thing, so for the people that have played Load Runner a lot, this is one of the first Load Runners that I've played that really did the series justice. Okay, you know what so, I mean? Because so the original game, you couldn't jump; it had all the same exact mechanics. Exactly. Where it's just like shoot you left, break, shoot right. Okay, that's it. Yeah, that's it. And yeah. you run up and, and down. But this one adds more stuff, and it adds it in a non, you know, how do you explain it? Like non insulting way to the. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean? It's 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 more uh, it's kind of honest. So coming from a newcomer, like what what, what does it feel like to you, like to uh, the series? It it feels like a puzzle game. Like mm-hmm. I mean, it just it feels like to me like the old shareware puzzle games I used to play growing up, where you'd get uh, there's a lot of things where you'd go in and there'd be a, a five and a quarter disc mm-hmm. for like two dollars, <laughs> and you flip through like a thousand of them, you take them home, and it'd be like these old kind of like that's how it felt to me, where mm-hmm. somebody had sat around a long time and made these really clever levels for you to figure yes. out, um, and you know the controls are are so simplistic. Mm-hmm. 
But like the iterations that they do. So 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 like you're saying Genius. the puzzles, like the the action game. So there's a journey mode where you're just basically going through every level. Yeah. And then that's just more high score. And there, there's some puzzle elements where it's just like okay, to get gold, you know, you have to do certain things. But for yeah. the most part, you're avoiding guys, killing guys, and it's yeah. more of a time base. But they added the puzzle mode, and we did the co-op version of that. Oh my god! Holy shit! Those are some of the hardest puzzles I've played in games for <laughs> as long as I can remember. Like it was just one of these things where it wasn't so much if it had just been a static puzzle. Mm-hmm. It wouldn't have been as hard, where it's just like, you know, mm. you, know, you and I could kind of figure it out. But the fact that the blocks keep reappearing and mm-hmm. it's like it, you have to do cooperative, timing-based solutions to these things. Which, and you have to be exact. Exact, yeah. It is hard. Um, like some of the things that we were doing, right, it's just like, okay, you'd have to like kill three blocks. I would have to go. You'd have to stand on my head to be able yeah. to get the right blocks. You'd hit the three, and then I would then go down. And like we had to do three or four of that, that, those iterations twice. Yeah, and it, right? wasn't, and it wasn't just... <clears throat> yeah, like you said, it wasn't just kind of relying on each other to do these moves. It's the fact that there's so much interaction where you fall down, you're hanging on a rope, I walk across you, yeah. and then like just everything, you have to rely on the other person mm-hmm. so much. It's not like, you're just like, you go kill those dudes, I'm going to be over here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no, no. no. It's yeah, just like, like, I would go, and I would get in place, I'm like, Tobin, I'm waiting here for you to yeah, go across. I'd stand on like, your head, shoot a block, you'd yeah. walk over while I'm still on your head, shoot another <laughs> block. Like, it's, it's so, it's it's like a dance. Yeah, and, and the thing is, like, I almost think it's almost, like, there was one level that yeah. we were playing that was just like, it's almost too much when you're doing it in a networked game. Yeah. Because is. there was this one level where you have to do things within a like almost within a half second yeah. of latency, and like sometimes I'd go and then you'd be on my head and I'd get to the position in like a quarter second, then you would move right because of lag. Because, and I'm like, yeah. we could not finish that level. Exactly. And I'm like, so so there, that 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 kind of sucks. So we were playing through, and it's like for there to be a level that we can't beat on co-op mm-hmm. because of network lag makes me wonder if they really tested like the the distance networking stuff. Yeah. I can imagine if you and I were sitting in the same room, everything would be perfect. Yeah, absolutely would be perfect, perfect, flawless. And there was uh, only one level that did that. There was, um, one so level that's that, why there was one other level that was close. Like there was that we were seeing issues where yeah. like uh, I would walk in a door, and then you'd have to go over and catch me, and on yes. my side I would actually fall, and then you'd show up and I'd pop back up on top. I didn't even notice it because yeah. I was always going, oh, interesting. So, so there's, 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 laggy, there's laggy issues where mm-hmm. there's, there's some puzzles that are so timing critical mm-hmm. that playing these... I mean, you and I live 60 miles apart. <laughs> yeah, exactly. If I tried to play this with you and you're in New York... Oh, no, forget it. I, th- I don't think, I don't think this game's playable. Like, well, I think play it for, for co-op puzzles. Co-op something. puzzle, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. So there, there's other modes. There's like a last man mode, which we didn't get a chance to play. There's yeah. a bunch of other ones. But um, I must say, like, it was for... Uh, it is 15. That's kind of one mark that I would give against it. it they, yeah. For some reason, when it first came out, 800 points. It was like, awesome. Yeah. And then they pulled it and put it back for 1,200. So mm. I... Uh, was it a mistake? We don't know. We're not really sure. But um, even for fifteen dollars, I can see myself because because the awesome thing about this, you can do a level level designer. Yes. you can share your levels. I didn't know about that. Yeah. So well, I believe you can. I haven't actually done it, but no, yeah, because I had, to, I, had to, I had to click through this thing that said there might be levels from other people that are offensive. Do you accept? That's right. So you so, have to be able to share. So yeah. when are you, so you're not going to make a cock cock block? Oh, I, I, <laughs> why did you say that? Why wouldn't I make a cock level? I'm going to make that and share that with the whole NoobTube army. That's what's going to happen. That's right. You get a mushroom, like, basically. Of it'd blocks. be like cock love Tobin. <laughs> Bong. No gold. Whatever. <laughs> it's just like just gold on the tip. Just sit there. <laughs> And you can't get to it. <laughs> you know somebody's gonna it's, get to make cock that level. On we. You just have to look at it. Wish that you had the golden cock tip. Oh God. Um, so, so yeah. So I'd say thumbs up. Um, a little, little iffy on the price, but yeah. Um, I mean, I would say that the the price. Uh, if you play the game, you can see that they didn't skimp. It's not yeah. one of these things where they cut corners. Yeah. They didn't go through and just kind of like, oh, sweet load runner. We bought the title for that. Yeah. Kick out a game. No, no, no. Like they put all these different play modes in. They 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 did with the online co-op, which yep. is very awesome. And they have co-op specific puzzles yep. and single player puzzles and a bunch of levels for your own. And they put a through. lot. I don't know if these if these puzzles. Well, these puzzles couldn't have been ripped from the original game because I think they said they designed all of the game, all the puzzles themselves. I was going to say because there's so there's so much that kind of relied on this new. Uh, I guess, maybe, about I guess maybe right? not. With single player, there's there's not as much, right? But do you think that all those puzzles from single player are just ripped from the original? No, game? well, no. I remember when we, we were talking to them a while they, back, they and they said they levels. just have on their own. But the cool thing is, like, one of the things that I really like that they added to it uh, that's next gen. Yeah. It's like you're playing a level, right? You do it, and then like you finish a level, you're like you're supposed to see loading next screen, right? Yeah. No, they basically kind of zoom out a bit, and then you go right, and you continue, you scroll, and there's yeah. almost like this mini puzzle between levels mm. because there's these little blue orbs that you can get when you get I think it's three of them, you get yeah. a free man. 
So if you can figure out that mini puzzle on the How way to, to the, the next level, yes. then what right, a cool it's, thing! It's genius. Just even the level transitions, they're yes. puzzles, and yeah. then it, it benefits you to think about how to get between levels. So it's almost a, more, a little more additional gameplay. So yes. that's why I'll give them a pass on the, on the fifteen yeah. bucks. So. They really put their time in. So uh, well done on that. Oh my god, what? we had a we had a week with five games that we thumbed up. No, we so did. Well, I didn't give. Okay, well. I played okay. a demo, so that's, I, you, you give the thumb, full game a thumbs up. So. Yeah, okay. Every one of these games got at least one thumbs up, which Actually, is yeah, which every, is highly the, unusual the only, for YouTube. The only thing that got a thumbs down was, was the Ninja demo Blade. of Ninja Blade. Yeah, and, so, you, and you're totally wrong about that. So. I, I, and I admit that I may be wrong on this game because the thing is, like, I was reading the thread. There's a thread on um, on the forums where yeah. people were like singing its praises. So it's good. It's telling if you if the new tubers like it. I mean, I. I no, Dude, play the demo and tell me I'm wrong. <laughs> no, 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 rip the game and tell him he's wrong. The game's, apparently the demo is not good. Yes. Uh, uh, so, this, so new releases. This week. What the fuck? Nothing. Nothing. Um, I can't wait to play Shin Megami Tensei colon double summoner two colon Raidu. Well, you know, if you're going to play that, then I would love to play the expansion that comes out with it, Nocturne 3. <laughs> Nocturne Maniacs Chronicle Edition. Um, but yeah, so, so first game that we're we'll talk about these quickly. Killing Floor. Yeah. Um, the first thing I, I looked at, I saw, the, I said when I looked at this, fucking Left 4 Dead ripoff. Yeah, Left 4 Dead. Yeah, I can see that. Pretty Left 4 Dead. I mean, like it's a six-player co-op survival. Horror. That's cool. It's pretty cool. Six-player co-op is cool. The rest of it just looks so derivative. It's just very much like, oh, lots of different weapons. What kind of weapons? I don't know. Shotgun, <laughs> chainsaw, yes. you know, whatever. It's like, yeah. Uh, rocket launcher. Rocket but launcher. I did a little, we did a little research into it. Apparently, this had come out like in 2004 yeah. as a mod for Something. Unreal Tournament or one of the things. So apparently, this came out before, so it's not a ripoff. Yeah, so we can't call it a ripoff. Uh, but I still don't know if I want to play it. But it's 15 bucks. Yeah, that's, so that's 15 good. 15 bucks on Steam, um, maybe. Yeah, let us know. I mean, it, it doesn't look cheaply made. It just doesn't look super interesting because of yeah. Left 4 Dead, because of these other things. It's, you know, you running around, six-player co-op, lots of different zombies. The zombies kind of look like any zombie you've ever seen before. I'm getting a little... The thing is, like, even with all these great games that are zombie-themed, I'm getting a little tired of zombies. Zombies like, are kind of like, tired. Well, they're like the World War II of the of ninety mid ninety mid oh or whatever, late the aughts. Late aughts. The aughts, yeah, exactly. Um, it's like we got tired of World War II, now we're kind of tired of zombies, like, yeah. you know... There's burn zombie burn coming out. There's, I mean, there's yeah. a lot of zombies. We get it. Zombies, zombies yeah. are funny, you know. Like there's, there's this whole kind of like <laughs> irony <laughs> thing around zombies. Is like, and everybody doesn't feel bad about killing them like Nazis. That's the other thing. I don't fa- actually. Do you feel bad about killing Nazis? Not really. You allied with them. <laughs> <laughs> but we were yellow Aryans. It was okay. <laughs> <laughs> yes, actually. I, I found your Nazi guilt. My Nazi. <laughs> yes, I suddenly like, you know, we had Asian like, I hate killing us. Nazis. <laughs> it's so mean. <laughs> you know, you know. Once the war was over, if we had won, <laughs> we would have had a, a big thing like was it Hirohito versus? <laughs> That's true. Hitler would have faced off yes. eventually. And Stalin yeah. in the middle. He would have been. Yeah, fucked. he's like ah. Uh, um, zombie Stalin. <laughs> But yeah, oh, you know, we need we something new. Get some robots. Zombies Stol- 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 Oh, Stol- no. Versus- Stolen versus Martians? No. You can. You, you okay. knock yourself out. Tell no, me, like... I will we- not play that game. It got, what did it get? 1.5? That- 1.5. Oof. Yeah, that looks terrible. Um, but yeah, so the next one is Shin Megami Tensei Devil Summoner 2. It looks like uh, it's set in the Shin Megami Tensei world, yep. uh, but it's on PS2. So it might be a little ugly. Looking. Yeah, they love to keep releasing these PS2 games. So it's an action-based uh, um, summoning fighter RPG. RPG, I think, yeah. So um, we looked at the, some of the some of the videos. It looks pretty good for a PS2 you game. Know, for, for a PS2 um, game, it, it's it's another uh, it's another Persona, whatever. I mean, like well, I, st- I don't understand this world. There's like Shin Megami Tensei is apparently like the Disney of monster summoning, where it's just like they've got be, like yes. all these franchises. There's like at least four or five different game franchises and a bunch of one-offs, a bunch of manga, a bunch yeah. of other stuff. The only ones I've played. Persona 3 and Persona 4. Yeah. Love them. Yeah. Awesome games. This one's set in the 1920s. Right. Um, maybe we'll try it. I, so it, I looks just... like, it looks like you go into these kind of active battle systems. Yeah. You start fighting on things. You can summon monsters. And it can't really... I don't know what's what, stopping me. I mean, if I see it, maybe yeah. in Blockbuster or Ram, I know what's stopping me. What? Fucking PS2, dude. But, dude, Yaku, you played Yakuza 2? Yeah, that's And true. you liked it? Yakuza 2 is fucking awesome. <laughs> and that's we played why. Persona 4 and we loved it, so... Yeah, that's true. Mm. Uh, so we'll see. And if you guys are big fans of Shin Megami Tensei, which I know a lot of you are from mm. YouTube, 
Uh, tell us what's awesome about this game. Send us a 60-second review, whatever. Get us in, excited about playing it. Yeah, because we have uh, we have a few other things to catch up on, right? we got yeah. Wolverine I want to play. I definitely want to play Wolverine. Um, what's, yeah, there's a couple uh, other games that we'll be reviewing. There was the, what was that? The Revenge of the Shadow Blade, Revenge of the Templar. Some, some, there was a, there's an old, there, there's an old adventure <laughs> game that's really famous. Oh, no, 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 no. Like Broken Sword. Broken Sword. Broken Sword, yeah. Uh, so that's a really famous adventure game that came out. They reported it to the Wii, yeah. and they did, they did a bunch of new original art by the guy that did... Uh, uh, um, the fucking movie that just came out with the Blue Dong. Um, <laughs> oh, Watchmen! <laughs> Watchmen, right. The guy that did a bunch of drawings for Watchmen did a bunch of drawings oh, for this. Really? So they okay. put a bunch of new art and a bunch of yeah. new voice Wait, work. Broken, is it bro- yeah, Broken Sword. Broken I, I think, Sword, something these, of the Templars. Did they, is it the same guy that did uh, Beneath the Still Sky? I think, I remember there's some Maybe. sort of connection or something like that, but it's a point-and-click adventure. I, you I'm hate gonna, those. I'm going to rent it. Okay, good. I'm just going to try it out. I'm just saying that like we're, what we're looking at here is not much. Like There's no. not much. That, that um, Wolverine, I mean, what do we got to play? Not much. Um, we do want to check out that PS3 um, thing, oh, right? Oh, Oh, the demo of Infamous. Ooh. The demo of Infamous. We gotta check that out. So there's some, right. there's some shit. There's some stuff, but it's not on this list. <laughs> no, we're not gonna play. So the next one is ne- desktop tower defense on the DS. No, <laughs> and uh, Paris vs Ninja Dodgeball. I just <laughs> <laughs> the developer is, is crying right now. He's watching him like he's like, ow, oh, why did you do that to my eyes? <laughs> not in my eyes. Of course, he's he's insanely rich from the billions of people that went to yeah. desktop. Wait, tower hold defense. on, desktop tower defense. What kind of game is that? <laughs> What genre would you say that game belongs to? Uh, DTC, Fucking I believe. Original yes, it's naming. It's a DTC. Um, um, so then... Power Switch Fire- Ninja Dodgeball. Uh, yeah. We didn't play on Xbox Live Arcade. I kind of want to. I don't think I want to play it on the Wii just because it looks kind of ass. <laughs> I was going to say, if, if we play it at all, it's going to be on you Xbox. You wanted to play it at, at one time, I did, right? I did. Um, I mean, like, I still kind of do. I, I just totally forgot about it for some reason, but yeah. I was looking at it. They're like... Wow, I wonder if we could take De- Pirates vs. Ninjas and make it really blurry and take all the details <laughs> out of the background and make it shitty. And add some waggle. Yeah, put it on the Wii. Yep. Does not look good. Does not look good. So, um, yeah, that's about it for new releases. Yes. Not a good week, and uh, it's going to be a pretty shitty week until Infamous comes out, and it's going to be shitty for a while after that. Yes. Welcome so, to the summer. Hold on to your britches. The summer is ugly, but we'll tell you about <sighs> the gems that sneak through. Yes, and we'll play a lot always of... Some, I mean, like, Plants vs. Zombies, you know, like, things... We'll get them. We'll catch them. I think we'll do more iPhone stuff, too. You, there yeah. was that other game that you wanted to, to try out, so we'll, we'll do a couple of things. And Square just came out with a desktop tower defense yes. on the iPhone. Yeah, so I actually, I actually saw kids uh, in, in real life. Like, I, was at a, I was at a sushi joint, and I saw some kids playing a game, and they were like, so excited, like two siblings. They're like, yeah. oh, oh, they're playing the talking whatever. And I was like, what is that? You have to tell me. Yeah. And Adrian's like, oh, my God, you're talking <laughs> to kids in public. You Again. look like a child molester. Yeah. So it's called Epic Pet Wars. Epic Pet Wars. Okay. Um, and it's it's kind of is like kind that of Mafia like, Wars thing yeah, that we yeah, saw yeah. where it's like, and it, and it ties into Facebook. It does some of this other stuff, but it, it's, it's just kind of a clever uh, way to spend time. Well, we, we can maybe yeah. review it when it comes out, but uh, Epic Pet Wars. And the cool thing is we can make uh, groups. We can make like a noob tube group. We can all mm. friend each other, and then like some attacks depend on how many friends you have. Like, So is it like, uh, what's, what's, it's, it's a door game. It's, it's a door, door game. game. Like, okay, so you like you raise pets and stuff like that? Yeah, you basically have a pet. You buy new weapons. You buy new armor. You can challenge other people to fights. Apparently real time. Time, hmm? Which is real time. Well, so wait, so, you, so if, if I'm there, I should be able to play with you. Apparently. Ooh, so, okay, so that that peaked, peaked it's, my it's, and it's free. All right, which is another thing. Free um, game. Free, so I guess wars. You can. What happens is you get like five pets with it, and then if you really like it, you can pay like four bucks. You get five more pet pets. Packs. Pet packs. Yes. You get respect points. You can buy whatever. Ah, okay, whatever. Um, cool. So yeah, so we'll check out some of that. But we do have a few contests. Yes. First up. Metric ass ton of Whoa. ass juice of crap. So we, a lot, if a little bit of history, we ask people to buy shitty games yes. for very cheap. Mm-hmm. Ideally under $5 if you could. Mm-hmm. Review it, send us the video, and then send us the game. And then we would give away this big pile of shit to the winner. The winner. Um, and so, we're so, what, so then what happened is that people uh, put, put together... Uh, their 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 contest entries for they wanted to win the, yes. the and like wh- and the so, theme was so, show us your shame yes so we have a lot of various so we actually we had maybe probably thirty to fifty uh, videos a lot a of huge videos. number and we just boiled them down a bunch of weeks and so now we have a, a, a top list yeah. that we're asking you guys to vote on so go to the forums vote on the top list and they're going to win this and they've all said what they're going to do some of them have said what they're going to do with it we've even seen videos I know so we've had some people actually send in videos of what they're going to do they're, some of the videos are lies like what's his name said he's uh, going to beat all of them. Yeah. Saru is like, I'm going to beat every game. No, you're not. No, you're not. You won't. You know, I know you're only five years old, but even still, <laughs> like, you know, it's going to take you the rest of well, your life. Well, the thing is, it, it will be a short games. life. He will. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. 
<laughs> but yeah, go to the forums, go to the metric, ask ton of crap yes. contest, and vote on the winners. And we're about to give this shit away. It's been a year in the making. The metric ass ton is now about to get dropped on someone's unsuspecting face. Yes, and we might. Who knows? We might start up again. Have another metric ass ton of shit. We might because people seem to like this, uh, or at least they like unloading their crappy games on or us or something. <laughs> but that does. I mean, seriously, honestly, that game that that if I got that stack in the mail, I'd be excited. That's kind of funny to check out all these crappy, crappy games. I know. I just I just hope all of them like hope like a UK person doesn't win because I don't know if they can play most of these games. Is PS2 region locked? Uh, yeah, I think so. Oh, so well, yeah, you, you have to have a PS2, man. You, yeah, all, these are these, mostly most PS2, Xbox, PS2. couple GameCube. So, um, so the yeah. other big contest we've got is Load Runner, Load Runner, which we played and we loved. Yes, and it's a very good game. So we're giving away ten Xbox Live Arcade keys. Yes. How can you get them? How can you get them indeed? So what happens is uh, you need to go to the forums. Yeah, so go to, right now. Go to the forums. Go to the events page. Yep, and there's a contest where you make a full-page magazine ad for the game. Boop. So just design it. Do it in MS Paint. Do it in it, whatever. Photoshop. Yeah. Do it, draw it with crayon and scan it with your mom's computer. Do whatever it is. Uh, but the point is, is you make your magazine ad for the game. Mm-hmm. We're going to uh, let them pick the top ten, right? Isn't it lo- yes. the load runner? It's going to be top ten. And well, we're going to do some for the forum. So yeah. there's going to be seven keys for the forum. So whoever puts up there. We're also going to have separate contests on Twitter. Uh, so if you follow at yeah. YouTube, follow YouTube. Yes. Uh, you basically you'll find the details there. Yep. So if you want to find us, go to twitter.com slash noobtube. Boom. There you go. Hit follow, make an account, do whatever, uh, and we're going to announce the contest to get your three keys on there. So if you want to save yourself the 15 bucks, get this awesome game, boom. Done. Hop on Twitter. Tweet up, son. Tweet up. <laughs> All right. Each week we like to... delicious. <laughs> Sorry. <Okay>. All right. <laughs> Ah, uh, tweet, tweet, tweet. Okay, each week we like to feature a new people on the show. And if you have a burning question, interesting, or funny story, please give us a ring. Yep, um, and you can contact us toll free at 888-233-8480 or send your audio or video. Video, bitches! Files to feedback at YouTube.com. Also, make sure you post them as video responses on YouTube. Yes, yeah, so no spam video responses. You know oh, who you are. Yeah, you please keep, <laughs> keep all no video. No more 9-11 conspiracy, <laughs> fucking we hate Muslims, do whatever. Yeah. Like, if you respond to those videos, I'm just going to delete them. Okay, so uh, please keep your videos under a minute uh, if you want to be featured on the show. Don't forget the yow. Yeah. So first up, we have um, Private Church. Private, Private Church. Church. So he is has he in noticed... The Private Church in the noob tube army? Yes. Nice. Um, so he's Lieutenant Private Church. So he said that something has been lacking from our show recently. Mm. Here we go. Hey, noob tube. This is Private Church, and that's Church with a CH. I've noticed there hadn't been a lot of burning and destroying things lately on noob tube. So I've decided to bust a hole in an old PS2, pour something flammable inside of it, and watch it burn. But, uh, the burning and destroying leads me to my question. What is your favorite game where you can just blow the living shit out of anything? Mine would be either Mercenaries 2 or Far Cry 2. So, just want to see what you guys think. Yeah. Wow. Mm. Mm. That, uh, that emotion engine didn't look very happy. No, that poor PS2, man. I hope that I hope that it didn't work. I really hope it didn't work because there's still some good games like we, Shin Megami, like these. Yeah, we this uh, whole stack this of masters. We're we're still announcing new fucking like, new games like Shin Megami Tensei and these other things coming on PS2. But anyway, let's put that aside and just say mm. burn, 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 burn. More safety glasses, please. <laughs> I love when you guys burn shit. Makes me so happy. <laughs> burn your house down. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, don't. For legal purposes, do not. That's wrong. Uh, blowing um, up shit, um, I would say Geometry Wars. You get to blow up all sorts of geometric objects. Yep. Um, I would say lately the ones that, that have really uh, set me off is Crackdown, when I just ran oh, all over the city and just blew awesome. the living shit out of everything. Same with Saints Row 2. Mm, yeah, Saints Row 2, one. man, like, once you start getting really powerful near the yeah. end, you're just basically running around just wrecking everything. And when you're done, you can go and shit, them all, shit on all of them, too, with your, yes. uh, your stuff. So, yeah. awesome. so, so there's plenty of games where you get to break shit all the time. Yes, we got, uh, oh, Akumis next. Akumis. I think he has a question or, like, a, actually a little bit of info. For he has us. a correction for our dumbness. Um, yeah. All right, here we go. Yo, it's Akumos, man. Um, I feel really sorry for you guys. This is, like, the, like, like the fourth or the fifth time I see you guys asking... 
can my PS3 play old PS2 game, PS2 one? Yes. Your PS, your 60 gigabyte PS3 units can play PS1 games and PS2 games. I decided to help you guys out because it's like the fourth, fifth time I see you guys ask a question in your guys' episodes. Anyway, yow. So I, I didn't get that. Can, can you play? I don't know. We're, we're old. I've already forgotten what that said. Yeah, but if you, if you guys know, well, let us. So know. here's the thing. Yeah. yeah, if anybody knows, if if anybody knows if we can play PS1 games on PS3, I, I, send us a. Because I would keep love asking. To play, I know. We keep asking, and no one will answer the question. I would love to play Final Fantasy VII again, but I don't know well, if I, I can. I heard you can't. Really? I read on. <laughs> <laughs> I okay. read on the internet somewhere. Just so you know. Yes. So thank they, you very much. They did not add uh, PS1 playing capability to the PS3 until 2007 with firmware 1.70. Thank you very much, Wikipedia. Well, well, well. So we know. Aren't you Google smart? <laughs> Dude, I was so Google dumb in Japan. <laughs> <laughs> Man. Like I had no iPhone. It's just like I, it's like I have that answer in my brain on the internet. And we had these Japanese phones that we rented, oh, yeah. uh, but we, no you know, we don't really, you know, we couldn't really serve the, we couldn't serve the internet on them because it was like eleven thousand dollars per kilobyte or some uh, bullshit, more or less, yeah, something yeah. like that, roughly. Um, and so we just basically didn't have internet until we got back to our rooms at night. And it's just like you don't realize how much you rely on data <laughs> all the time in your fucking pocket. People are like, uh, can you play PS One games on PS Three? I don't know. Be-do-do-do. Yes. It's just like, oh, who was in this movie? Beep, beep, beep. IMDb. You know, it's just. Yeah, it it sucks. It yeah. really does. We suck felt not like dumber. That. We yeah. felt definitely dumber there <laughs> than we do at home, and we're not that smart at home. <laughs> um, um, oh, so Eastman actually has some oh, uh, commentary on the news. The news, indeed. Hey, Tobin Newzo, Eastman here. Um, 3D Realms. Uh, people know them from the makers of Duke Nukem. They closed up shop because they couldn't get funding, apparently, from Take-Two. Did not see this coming, not that they've been working 13 years on a game that, haha, takes forever. Um, your guys' thoughts on this? I personally cannot feel sad for them losing their jobs, even in this economy, because they've been working for about 12 to 13 years on this one game, and we've seen, like, a couple screenshots here and there, there was a leaked gameplay video. But nothing spectacular, nothing. There's not even a full game to the goddamn thing. I mean, for God's sakes, what do you do in 13 years? I talked with some people at Ventrilo. They said they were just playing WoW that whole time. Seems like a likely story. You know, I request WoW. What are you guys' thoughts? Yeah. I was shocked, dude. I was totally shocked. To I see was that. too. I was too. I thought that they'd just kind of drag along forever. Seriously, I would love to know what money they were paying salaries for twelve years on. Well, easily, right? I mean, it's probably standard, like you know, sixty to a hundred, probably something like that. No, 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 I mean, like, sorry, well, what? Where the funding oh, for well, take, twelve years? Take of, two. They were just paying into it. I think, the... yeah. Or in 3D realms, would probably self-funding it for a while. But my yeah. understanding, so you know, I would. This is one of the stories that I would love. I would love somebody to write a book to make a movie yeah. about the making of Duke Nukem. There's gotta be. Somebody's There's gotta make a be documentary. a great story behind yeah. that, right? Because you imagine, right? They probably started way, wait, 13 years ago. So they're probably what the Quake engine, yeah, maybe originally. Yeah, probably. So they had the Quake engine. Then they got. Then they probably went to the Quake Two engine. Then yep. the Quake Three engine. Then maybe they went to UT, Unreal Turn Unreal yep. for a while. And then they maybe went to Unreal Two. Then maybe, they probably went to Crisis. For yeah, a while. <laughs> probably, probably. Crytek Half-Life engine, Half Life Two, and they're like, no, because I mean, that has to be why. Yeah, they just kept on moving, and they could never basically seal the deal. Yeah, it, I mean, so here's the thing: is is I kind of side with Eastman on this one, where I'm just like, in terms of what? Like, in terms of not really feeling any pity at all for them, where it's like, yeah, I, I like the, the original Duke Nukem. Yeah, I liked it. Whatever, I was <laughs> seven years old or some shit when it came out. I mean, like seriously, it was some hilarious. It was shit a for great a game. The guys that made it are probably dead now. You know? <laughs> like George Prasad is not is, is not rolling in his grave right now. He's, <laughs> but I mean, it's like when your video game takes longer than the Manhattan Project. When your video game takes, I mean, like there's that website where it's like things that took longer than Duke Nukem. It's like world. <laughs> War II. <laughs> Are you serious? Yes. Oh, these exa- oh wow. There's, you haven't seen this website? No, I have not There's seen a it. website that has, it's, it's like thousands of things that took less time than Duke Nukem. Because <laughs> as, as it took longer, more things. Yes. Were, yeah. Oh, so the wow. List, I mean, so seriously, it's like Manhattan Project, yeah, whatever. Seriously. It's like They designed the 360 and the PS3 bef- in yes. the time it took to and build this Yeah, game. and it lists like all the things that have been made. It's like all the Lord of the Rings movies. All I mean, like seriously. <laughs> the Golden Gate Bridge. The, yeah, exactly. It just lists these things where... At some point, wow. you have to not have as much pity for them because lots of other games that got 
made were really good. And that, and that 3D Realms actually released a few games, too. Yeah. Don't get me wrong. They released Prey, yeah. I, I believe, right? They released a couple of games. Did I they? think Prey was one of them. Okay. Well, that was like a 15-year-old game or something like that. <laughs> they, they had originally thought of it, and they had, had talked about it. It's like, oh, Prey, it's a Native American. Yeah. This was like an 80s or something, right? I mean, it's like, like they you fight it. Gorbachev. <laughs> This is timely. <laughs> yes. No, but like, like that was the game, and they finished yeah. that. But you they side didn't... with McCarthy against the communists, <laughs> and then David Bowie comes yeah, in. He's like, <laughs> and then Alf. Yeah. But um, Alf, hey guys. <laughs> but no, seriously, like, like what? <laughs> Sorry, it's just... You're just thinking about the '80s shit, aren't you? It's like Max Hedrum's like, <laughs> he's like, fuck, 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 fuck you. <laughs> I'm sure they had to cut that. Uh, they probably in 93. Did. Yeah, exactly. You know, when, when they were starting. But, so um, it's like, you know, get a project manager, get a deadline. Uh, but you know the thing is, the story is not over. This IP still has value. There is somebody somebody who is much quicker who will make an Xbox Live arcade game yeah. <laughs> or something. Give it to the guys that made, uh, what was that game that I just liked that came out? Max Power fucking... Max Power. What was it? The, 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 the guy, the, the, the whole jokey game where it was like... Oh, uh, uh, which one? Matt Hazard. Matt Hazard. Yeah. Give it to those guys. Drop it in their engine. Because the whole thing about Matt Hazard was it's all about the writing. The engine wasn't all that good. So it's like, you know... But I don't know if I want that. I want, I want a game that I want to... If you look at some of the gameplay videos, it looked pretty... It, it looked okay. It looked okay. It looked like it looked last okay year's for, game, right? Four years ago's game. But yeah, I mean, it looked, it looked, it looked, yeah, sure, it looked fine. I would have played it. Yeah. And there, there was boobs. I mean, right? You don't get boobs very often I did in games, like that. so boobs are nice. Um, I did like that. Yeah. We'll see. But no, the thing is, the story's not over. It, this game will come out by somebody else. All right. And you're saying give we'll it to Matt Hazard? version. I we'll say give, I say fucking give it to Valve. <laughs> Ooh, I like that. Uh, give it to Valve. will know yeah. what to do with it. Seriously. Valve will release it as like it'll be like episode four. We'll have <laughs> we'll have fucking Alex, <laughs> and he's like, "Fuck Did you!" you. And he's gonna say, he's take like, "Take it off! off. <laughs> take your top off!" <laughs> Come on, Alex. Spits a cigar in her face. That would be awesome. Uh, and then so next up, I don't even know what, what Bravo three hundred three has yes. an interesting question for us. Uh, yes. Arcades. Bravo. Bravo. Here we go. Hello Noob Team, it's Bravo 303 here from the farms. Uh, as you probably know, we had the UK meetup recently uh, where we went to Funland in Piccadilly Circus. Uh, it was an absolutely massive arcade, couldn't really believe how large it was. Um, but it got a question flying in my mind. Do arcade games really work when you bring them home? Like when Dance Dance came to the PlayStation 1 and PlayStation 2, do those sort of games really work? As we all know, when Dance Dance came to the PS1, it had a crappy little plastic mat which frankly, in my mind, really ruined the game. So do you have to stay in the arcades to enjoy arcade games, or with enough money, can you enjoy games at ho- those sort of games at home? Anyway, that's my question. Catch you guys later. Yeah. Hmm, that's interesting. Can that's you a good bring... question. I think, personally, it depends. I think that it takes a lot of money. Like, you know, really? You... Oh, yeah. The hardware that's in some of these games are comparable to a PS3 360 at this point. Oh, no, no, I'm saying it takes a lot of money to get the, 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 uh, oh, the, the experience. Oh, I yeah, yeah. I mean, like, you know, I played I played uh, uh, Street Fighter when it just came out. I'm mm-hmm. like, oh, it's okay, whatever. I don't really want to play it on my Xbox controller. You bought the fucking kick-ass stick, and it's that awesome. is fun. <laughs> it's the same thing with DDR. I played. I bought the shitty little plastic <laughs> pad. I ripped it. And I it got sucks. on the floor, and then I had. I went over to a friend's house that bought the metal yep. heavy base. And it was worth industrial it. thing, and it's like he probably 200 paid bucks. 200 bucks for yeah. it. Uh, and I oh, have oh, coming. Oh, oh, you have coming. I have coming. Speaking. The, the pop-in controller, which is shipped. So he, he shipped, shipped it. it. Yeah. Shit, do we so need a video of that? We will dude. totally get a video we, of that. You talked about it three months ago. <laughs> I bought it five months ago. Holy shit, are yeah. you serious? I bought it like... Because it's handmade, like, right? Yeah, some it's guy, handmade. Some guy in college. Dorm there was room. this weird thing where like the buttons got delayed coming from China for a month, and then oh, all this other shit happened. Yeah. He had finals, whatever. The point is, huh. I have a pop-in thing coming Ooh. that is apparently arcade quality. It's the nine-button fucking pop-in oh, game. I so want to play that. So so yeah so I, th- I think so you got to drop some bucks. It depends on the game. Like like yeah. like Time Crisis, you can buy right now for a reasonable amount of time and get get the whole like experience. Yeah. Any driving game now, you can get a, a stick. Uh, sorry, a, a wheel. You can do yeah. all that kind of stuff. The thing is like like it seems to me arcades are going more towards uh, standard like uh, exotic peripherals. Yes. Right. Or sure. rides or experience. And you just you cannot create that. You cannot take it home. But right. Street Fighter Six. Hundred dollar, hundred dollars stick. Yeah, hundred fifty dollars stick. Yeah, exactly. So if you're, you're big into fighting games, you can kind of do that stuff. But yeah, I mean, like we saw a bunch of those games in Japan with like the touching buttons and all these things. Yeah, you can't ever have that at home unless just, you buy, you know, have one custom made for yeah. much dollars. <laughs> but I mean, since arcades are probably going to be going out of business in the United States in about a year, Dude, doesn't fucking matter. Uh, I want Quest of D at home. Can you I imagine having a little machine that kept the cards from you? Oh and just... my god. Oh my god, I want those Japanese games that we played so bad. That would be so awesome. <sighs> okay, oh, okay, that's all we got. 
Yes, that is our show for the week. Oh, shit. Uh, uh, so that's our show for the week. <laughs> Check out our website at noobtube.com. Participate in our forums by clicking the community tab at the top of the front page. Yes, if you're watching the video on YouTube, make sure you click on the subscribe button right over there. Hell and yeah. also rate the video with five stars by gently rubbing Tobin's uh, <laughs> homemade it. junk. Do it. Yes, with many buttons. Right that's now. all for this episode. <laughs> I am user Watsonabe. And I'm Tobin because our audio engineering for NoobTube is done by Range Hayabusa Strong. <laughs> Thanks for listening. We'll see you all next week. We're out. See ya. The ice is melting. The weather's getting hot. And our finances have gone to hell But I don't give a jot For I'll console you with my console You can crash and use my pad And the games we got on eBay The best we've ever had Best we've ever had So we'll play on and on and on forever Play on and on But they cannot take what's ours And they cannot touch our love The world is changing But we remain the same Whatever happens We still have our special game We still have our special game So we play on And on and on forever Play on and on forever with me Together and forever